Eight News reporter Autumn Childress is live from State Police Headquarters. And Autumn, you've been in contact with this family since the very beginning of this case. What can you tell us about the latest tonight? Well, Eric Diano, we first brought you this heartbreaking story one year ago. Tonight, Sion Carroll's family fears his case may have gone cold, but they tell me their fight for justice has not stopped. And it hurts. Just think about it if it was your, one of yours. Tonight, pain and questions remain for Junius Carter, one year after the gruesome murder of his grandson, Sion Carroll. My family is, is, is still scrambling with his death. On November 2nd of last year, the 17-year-old vanished. His family was left with only one clue about where he could be, his last pinged location. His cell phone picked up near a house in the town of Kenbridge, 60 miles away from his Henrico home. Family says they begged police to search the house, but that never happened. And it was one week after his disappearance when Sion's body was found. The medical examiner said he'd been shot, dismembered, covered in lye, then put into a shallow grave in Lunenburg County. Unbelievable. It, it told me up. How can you do that to a person? That gruesome news sent shockwaves through this family and the community. They questioned who would have killed the 17-year-old and why. One year later, those same questions remain unanswered. The town is so small, somebody down there knows something. They know something. And just let us know, let the family know. Family now fearing Sion's case has gone cold. Earlier this year, the Kenbridge Police Department handed the case over to Virginia State Police. Investigators confirming tonight no one has been arrested. We still haven't heard nothing. No suspects? No suspects, nope. One year later, a billboard honoring the team sits along Mechanicsville Turnpike. The message, we miss you, Sion. Carter telling me tonight, it's a constant reminder of the tragedy that struck his family. But he says their fight for justice continues. We're not stopping until we get justice for him and some of the other kids that's missing or that have been murdered. Now, family tells me they still go to Kenbridge, passing out flyers, trying to find answers. And of course, if you know anything about this, you were asked to report it. Live from State Police Headquarters tonight, I'm Autumn Childress, 8 News.